what's popping everybody it's your boy jesus ak flocko back with another video yes sir yes sir it's the first month is the first day of the month is the first day of december everybody have a blessed december make this month worth it this is the last month of the year let's run it up man let's run it up make it worth it make it count do what you could man but try to pop out this month bro don't wait for it to be next year for you to start something nah bro end the year off right you feel me other than that Today we're going to be reacting to Devin Haney face to face with Prague. I call him Prague, bro, because I'm not going to pronounce his full name, bro. You feel me? I just, I'm just going to say Devin Haney versus Prague. Um, it's a fight coming up next week. Uh, to be honest, to be honest with you guys, I got Devin Haney for the win. I'm not a Devin Haney fan, but it's the truth, bro. Undisputed champion. The king of the 140s or 135s, whatever, as of right now. You know I don't think so, but that's how he that's how everybody in the in the in the boxing community has him right now. ESPN, like all the top rank, like I think he signed the top rank, but yeah, they always put that he's the king of boxing, whatever. So he's gonna win. If Prague doesn't knock him out, Devin Haney's gonna win by decision, bro. That's that. Let's just um before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Roll to 300 subs. Get me there, bro. We're at 266. Get me the 300 subs for the one time, man. Let's run it up, man. Let's get it. Exactly. Cool. That's cool. So you don't got no chin. How about that? I ain't got no chin. You just got dropped against a nigga nobody ever heard of. That's good. I'm 34. I'm 24. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the, we're in the same position, dickhead. Damn, the trash talk is already going crazy. Pay-per-view. The best will take on the best. When Devin Haney, the undefeated, former undisputed 135-pound title holder, will challenge Regis Progre, the WBC 140-pound champion, and the man that many believe Here's the thing with Devin Haney, though. One thing I didn't like is that from what I read and what I seen, like, on the vlogs and stuff, on the blogs, is that he could have fought someone at 135, whether it was Shakur or or um, Tank. Instead of doing that, he went up to the 140. And I don't know why he did that. Um, boxing is... Is a sport that you give the fans what they want to see. You got to defend. To be a real champion, you got to defend that title against another real champion. Another real boxer, bro. Don't go out and box these nobodies. Don't go out to box people that nobody want to see you fight. That, that people already know. Oh, you're going to win. Like versus Prague, bro. Prague, no disrespect to Prague, but he's a, he's a good fighter and all. But everybody knows he's not going to beat you. Everybody knows he's not going to beat you, bro. You're the king of boxing as of right now, bro. Prague is not going to take that from you. The boxing community doesn't want Prague to take that from you, bro. But that's why they don't want to put you in the ring versus these other good fighters. Why you ain't fight Tank? Because Tank would knock the fuck out of this guy, bro. No disrespect to nobody. Um, These guys are good at boxing. But Tank will really knock Devin Haney out, bro. That's that. Devin Haney... Bro, Loma... And I'll leave that for the... <sighs> is the number one fighter in the junior welterweight division. That happens in December. Right now, they face off. Let's see what they got to say. Your first fight at 140 pounds, and you are walking straight into the lion's den against this man. Why was this fight the right one for you? I mean, I feel like arguably he's the best at 140, and um, I feel like I'm the best fighter in the world, so why not go at the best? In the division, um, 140. Right there, that, that, I don't think that, he's the best at 140. Pro. Hell no, um, he's not the best. Victorious. I so saw, said, I saw some highlights of Prague. He, you were he's not that as good as other fighters at 140 that I've seen, bro, at all. Because mm, I feel like I'm the best. You know, you, you take a warm up first, right? See what you can do at 40 first. But he coming, he coming step to the. You know what I'm saying the best, so kind of surprised about it. I'm surprised, but I'm not, because like I said, because of the. You know, Bill was at the last one, so they saw that and they was like, "All right, maybe we can do something." But I called you out before that, though. He went to the fight because we knew that we wanted to fight you. Cool. Bro, here's the thing about it, though. Bro, these ads is going crazy already, bro. I don't want to see no ads, man. The best business to start in 2020. Then just Wi-Fi is trying to act Amazon up. FBA drop shipping or real estate. But like I said, bro. Well, I don't get about Devin Haney is like he thinks he's a top dog. He acts like he's tough. He acts like he's ready to knock out anybody comes his way. Bro, you're not gonna knock no one out. 
You're probably not even going to knock Prague out, bro. You're going to go to decision and win by decision because they don't want Prague to take that um, undefeated um, record from me, bro. You feel me? So you're going to win by decision. That's already known. You're not going to knock Prague out. You guys, you just wanted to... You guys just wanted to get a payday, and you wanted to come into 140 and fight Prague because he's one of the top dogs in the 140 division. But you didn't fight the top dog in the 140 division. You fought one of them, but you didn't fight the main top dog, bro. Stop it. What he's getting into in a fight. No, he don't know what he's getting into. Absolutely. No. Hell no, you don't know what you're getting into. Absolutely not, bro. Nah, you don't. Not, bro. You not, bro. You, I'm telling you, you not. I'm honestly, brother, I'm like, I'm scared of looking in your eyes because I'm, I'm going to hurt you. You're not going to do I'm shit. I'm going to hurt you're you. Not, you bro. a one trick pony. You can't I'm, do nothing. Damn, bro. Those are fighting words. Oh, Just a motherfucker telling you he's going to hurt you straight to your face, bro. Keep thinking it. I'm going to show this you. This motherfucker wants to get in the ring already, bro, on the spot. You going to see? You going to see? You going to see? You going to see? Bro, I'm, I'm going to, you a kid, bro. You going to tell me I'm a hell of a fighter and all this? And he's saying it like he means it, bro. Like, I'm going to fucking hurt you, bro. You feel me? I'm, I'm gonna hurt Look, you. I'm he gonna, said it like really, four or five I'm, times already, bro. He's ready to get down already. That's true. That's true. I know. I'm gonna hurt you, though. I know. He's His levels. I'm a total different level than him. Why do you think he's a one-trick pony? Why do you say that? In his, in his fights, he do the same thing over and over. And when that shit don't work, everything go out the window. He don't know what to do. He's lost. Good. I'm glad you think. keep thinking that. I'm glad, boy. How old is he? What you think? Th what is you, 32, 33? Four. Nigga, he, he ain't finna do nothing different than he ain't been doing. He ain't gonna learn no new moves. He been doing the same thing his whole career. Yeah. It's, it's not no nothing he can go in the gym and go work on it. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing with Prague and, and Devin Haney. I watched some highlights of him. And I actually watched the fight with Devin Haney versus Loma. But the highlights that I watched was um the Prague. Prague and Devin Haney both, they got some skills that they're good at. But one thing... That they got to practice on is their defense, bro. They fight too open. They fight too rushed. They throw a punch. Leave their, like They put their guard down as soon as they throw that punch. What happens when that happens, bro? What happens when you throw your guard down? You run into a hit. Whether you're the one that wants to win, like whether you're the one attacking or the one that is like defending himself, if you get, if you get what I mean. If you're the one throwing the punch, you better put your guard up, bro. Because you're going to run into a fucking punch coming straight from the other guy. He's going to knock you the fuck out. Well, it goes both ways. I'm talking about both of them. If Devin Haney fights open, Prague is going to connect them. If Prague fights open, Devin Haney is going to connect them. They both got to work on their defense. They got no defense, bro. And I seen it from Devin Haney versus Loma. Loma caught this guy a couple times, bro. To be honest, Loma won that fight, in my opinion. You feel me? But people are saying, oh, if you don't think Devin Haney won the fight, then you're not a real boxing fan. Or you don't know about boxing. Bro, we all know about boxing, bro. Loma dominated the fight. Yeah, Devin Haney dominated maybe like a couple like a couple rounds. Maybe like three, four rounds. The rest was Loma, bro. 12th round, I forgot how the fight went already. But there was a round that, that people say, oh, judges um, gave the fight to Haney um, off that prediction of that round, bro. You feel me? I forgot where. I think it was the last round. Some shit like that. Point is, both fighters do not got good defense. So whoever gets that lucky shot on the one that puts a guard down first is going down, bro. I'm not saying he's going to get knocked out. You feel me? No one. I don't even think this fight is going to be a knockout. This fight is going to distance. But I feel like whoever puts a guard down first is going to get dropped. You feel me? Just mark my words, bro. If you guys watch the fight... Mark my words. First person to put the guard down is going to get connected. Whether he gets dropped or not still, they're going to get connected. Regardless. Yeah. On Friday night, he's going to do the same thing he's been doing. Right. You mentioned that Bill Haney was at your last fight mm -hmm. against Danielito Zaria. You said yourself that was not your best performance. Yeah, of course. Everybody knows that. Right. Do you believe that the way you fought that night is one of the reasons we're here today? Of course. That's what I'm saying. He said he called me out. Cool. But I think that, yeah, he came because of that. Is that... Is that performance from him one of the reasons you wanted to fight him? No, I called him out before that. Um, Why is Bill Haney even there in the first place, bro? You know you're not interested in a prog fight, bro. That's one. Two, you always Bill Haney always talks shit to his kids' opponents instead of his kid, bro. Like you got, like he gotta stop doing shit like that, bro. He's gonna get his son in trouble one day, bro. 
He's gonna run him into the wrong fighter that's really gonna beat his ass, bro, thanks to his pops. That is what it is. I caught him out before that. He had a bad performance, brother. He looked good or he, he didn't. We was gonna fight regardless. Well, I wanted to make the fight regardless. He didn't want to. He didn't. He really didn't want to fight me. For real, for real. You fucking crazy. I didn't want to fight you. What are no, you talking about? You didn't want to fight me. Why am I here? You didn't want to fight me. You want. You want to fight another fight. You want to fight a tune up and then not a tune up. You want to fight a stay busy fight and then he was like, all right, well maybe we can fight. Maybe we'll fight. Listen, 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 listen. listen. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, I was thinking about yeah, maybe let's let's build it up. But I was like, you know what? Now nah, let's let's fight Devin. Fuck that. We gonna fight Devin. I, I didn't have to fight you. You don't think I, I had to fight? I have to fight you. I could defend against somebody else. Why not fight you? What are you talking about? That's facts. Look, he left his ass speechless, bro. He left him speechless. He didn't have to fight him, bro. Why is Devin Haney saying he's trying to duck? No one is trying to duck you, my brother. He's going to fight your ass December, what, 9th? That fight wouldn't be happening if he was ducking you, bro. He's going to fight you. So he wanted to fight you. He's defending the title versus you, my brother. So he wanted to fight you, bro. Stop acting like you're the top dog, like you're some scary guy or something, bro. You're not scary, bro. Prague is not scared of you. And you may not be scared of him either. But you got to stop acting like you're really the top dog, bro. Closed in on you. You had to fight They didn't me. close, bro. I you couldn't do what me. I wanted, bro. I you couldn't defend against somebody else. I didn't have to fight you. You had to fight me. So, okay. So, so, so what? So why, why was you wanting to fight somebody else? Think about the tuna. I was thinking about it, then get you after that. But I was like, nah. tuna, there ain't nothing wrong with the tune up. There ain't nothing wrong with the tune up, bro. You feel rusty, go for the tune up. Cause you ain't gonna go in there, look all rusty and all, and just get fucked up, bro, for a bag. Hell nah. I'm your mandatory. I'm your mandatory. You're not my mandatory. You're not my mandatory. I'm your mandatory. I have a, I have a mandatory. Fight me, cause I'm the mandatory. Okay. All right. We here now. Devin Haney moved up because he, he didn't want the mandatory at 135. I had a mandatory. They closed in on you. I had a mandatory. Devin Haney. You're not my mandatory. I had a Devin Haney's talking about mandatories. That's why he went up to 140 because he didn't want to do the mandatory at 135. Come on, bro. We all know that's why you went to the 140 because you didn't want to fight at 135 no more because you had the top dogs, bro. You didn't want to run into a knockout. That's why you went up 140. But still, bro, 140, you got what? People like Tilfimo, people like uh, Prague. Prague might shock, bro. Not even going to cap. I, I still think that Devin Haney is going to win by decision. But Prague is the type of fighter that he'll probably shock the world, bro. But let, we'll just see, man. Mandatory. Stop talking about mandatories, though. When you're the one that ducked the mandatory. There's a, a narrative forming from your side at the press conference your coach called his career choreographed in the promo that's been running on the zone for a few weeks now uh, we'll get my water real quick man mm -hmm. feels like i'm the one talking shit because you had it easy like you had it easy bro you had an easy little like privilege easy life out. you had an easy, easy privilege out. let's see let's see i gotta get to that when i come back hold on hold on hold on we back we back we back all right what do you say what do you say how many jobs you had you like where you work at? This is my only job. I put my all into there you this go. shit right here. There you go. Put my all there you go, brother. I struggle, bro. I struggle, bro. I, I struggle listen, to I get you. Listen, I struggle to get you, bro. How much you Man, you whatever, facts, whatever. you had losses removed, man. I ain't Come never removed no losses. I, I put my all into this shit, and this is why I'm here, and this is why I'm That's levels cool. And guess what? He was, he was doing and other shit. He was doing other shit. Where I'm at? I'm here, too. And I'm fighting you. I'm here, too. And I still did all Here's the thing, bro. I know Prague feels strong. Yeah, people that come from nothing, people that really struggle coming up. You feel that shit, bro, because you're grateful that you're in the position you're in because of all the struggles, everything you went through, right? But you can't always say, oh, I come from nothing. I'm here because of where I came from, bro. You feel me? You can't always throw that shit to people's faces like it's a, like, like it's something to brag about. You feel me? It ain't Devin Haney's fault that his pops put in the work for him to give him a good life, bro. It ain't Devin Haney's fault that his pops and moms really did the, did their thing as parents, bro. It's, it's not his fault that he ain't struggled. His parents did what they had to do for him to go out and just put his focus on boxing, bro. Thank his parents that he didn't have to go through the struggle. Because people that went through the struggle wish they never went through the struggle, bro. Wish that their parents dedicated the full time to really put, like, dedicate their time to their craft, bro. To make their kids be what they want to be, bro. It ain't his fault that his dad and his mom did the good work, man. Other than that, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm not going to watch this full thing because 
I already saw what they wanted to say. But let me know in the comment section who y'all think is going to win. Y'all think you guys got Devin Haney or Prague, man. Let me know in the comment section, man. I got Devin Haney by decision, bro. No cap.